Good afternoon. This is a special meeting of the Wilmette Firefighters Pension Fund of the Village of Wilmette. Staff will now call the roll. Mr. Canning. Here. Ms. Malloy. Here. Mr. Weglars. Here. Good afternoon. Mr. McGreal. We do have a quorum and I'd like to welcome Mike McGreal, who is our newest member. Thank you for agreeing to serve on our board. So this meeting is being conducted remotely via Microsoft Teams. For those watching this video in the future, effective June 12th, 2020. Public Act 101640 enacted the Government Emergency Administration Act, which makes permanent changes to the Illinois Opens Meetings Act. Under new 7 section su 7 sub E of the Open Meetings Act, public bodies may now conduct remote public meetings by audio or video conference without a quorum physically present when the governor or director of the Illinois Department of Public Health has issued a disaster declaration related to public health concerns. This meeting is being broadcast on the internet on YouTube Live, and the URL for that is www.youtube.com backslash user backslash Village of Wilmette backslash live. If you'd like to participate in the meeting, you may use the Microsoft Teams app on any device for free. No sign in is required. The link to join each meeting is posted on the website calendar at www.wilmet.com backslash calendar. This meeting will be archived on the village's website as we do with all of our other televised public meeting. Remote meeting obviously requires a different mechanic for public participation. So to ensure that our residents, business owners, and other interest, interested parties have the opportunity to participate in this meeting, we have solicited public comment prior to the start of the meeting via email. If you send an email to public comment, all one word, at willmet.com prior to the start of the meeting, our staff will read that email during the public comment portion of our agenda. If members of the public who are watching the broadcast would like to participate during our designated public comment periods, you may submit your comments through YouTube Live at the appropriate time and a member of the village staff will read your comment to the pension board. All comments to the pension board will be recorded in the meeting minutes as we typically do. Everyone will have joined the meeting today muted. When it is time for public comments, those joining us with the team's client can toggle their mute status by clicking on the microphone icon on the meeting toolbar. Those joining us by audio conference dial-in can toggle their mute status by pressing star six. Only attendees can unmute themselves. No one can unmute another attendee. And just a reminder, the public comment can also be provided by emailing public comment, all one word, at wilmet.com or through the village's YouTube live stream. Now, before the meeting, the pension board received a packet of agenda materials. This agenda is quite short because there's only one issue we really need to address at this time. These materials are also posted on the wilmet.com website so the residents and other interested parties can review the very same materials we are looking at. So we'll now move on to the agenda. We've had the roll call next item on the agenda is public comment. Have we received any public comment? We have not received any public comment via email nor on YouTube Live. Okay, thank you, Lynn. We'll move on to the next item, which is a disability matter. <clears throat> And so we want the record to reflect that we acknowledge the receipt of a disability application from Michael Wessel, formerly Village of Wilmette Firefighter Paramedic, who is currently a Lake Villa Fire Protection District Firefighter Paramedic, and has combined his credible service with the Wilmette Firefighters Pension Fund. So that is an acknowledgement of the receipt. We do have the application. Uh, anything to add on that point? Okay, seeing none, we'll... Move on to the next issue, which arises from the acceptance or excuse me, the knowledge of receipt of disability application, which is um, we've been informed by Pension Board Counsel Carolyn Clifford that due to her firm also representing uh, Lake Villa, 
that she will be unable to represent the Wilmette Firefighters Pension Board in this matter. So the record should reflect that the board accepts the recusal of Ogdenson, Denofel, Has Haslambog, and Castellato uh, to provide legal representation to the Wilmette Firefighters Pension Fund in the Wessel disability matter. Carolyn will continue to represent us in all other matters in our regular quarterly meetings, but for this disability matter alone, uh, her firm cannot represent both Lake Villa and Wilmette. So she is conflicted out and will not be serving um, as counsel. Therefore, we need to retain new counsel. Um, and so for our consideration today is item C, which is the review and approval of Kleinthorpe and Jenkins to provide legal representation to Wilmette Firefighters Pension Fund in the Wessel Disability Matter. Joining us today is Lance Molina, who you will see on your screen. Lance is a partner with that firm, has had a long-standing practice in municipal law. Um, he was one of a number of attorneys recommended by Carolyn for us to contact. Um, I did contact him. He was able to clear conflicts. They do not have a conflict. Um, and we've received an engagement letter from Lance. Uh, he is here today to introduce himself and answer any question the board uh, may have. It would be my recommendation to uh, retain him. Once he has been retained, we can then share with him the disability application and he can provide us with direction on how we should proceed. Um, please note that it is my understanding and Dave, if you have better knowledge or more current knowledge, that Lake Villa is also um, entertaining a disability petition at the same time. And I believe the municipality has intervened in that matter. I believe that was the latest update. So, but before we do that, uh, Lance, welcome. Thank you very much for uh, considering this engagement. Thank you for providing us with the engagement letter. If you take a couple minutes to uh, highlight some of the things uh, about your practice and um, and uh, answering questions the board members may have. Sure. So thanks for considering me to help you through this. Uh, looks like it might be an interesting issue uh, or set of issues. So I've been with Client Thorpe since 1995. I'm a partner there and on the board of directors. Uh, before that, I was with the U.S. Attorney's Office for five years doing criminal prosecutions, and I clerked for District Judge Charles Kokoris before that. And then I was in law school. So I've been out for 31 years. I've been an attorney. Uh, I specialize in local government work. Most of it is uh, general counsel to municipalities. But before I got so involved with general municipal work, I was uh, primarily a litigator at the firm. That's kind of why they hired me coming from the U.S. Attorney's Office, but have morphed into doing general counsel work. I'm corporation counsel, as Lynn knows, for the village of Mount Prospect, also for the village of Schomburg, and the villages of Riverside and Hinsdale, Illinois. Uh, I do have fire pension board background. Uh, for years, uh, I, I did uh, was the counsel for the Downers Grove Fire Pension Fund and Board. Uh, we don't have a lot of funds that we're counsel for, probably because we, we are mostly on management side and the fund councils, they tend to be, uh, you know, more involved with the union side. Uh, and so I don't do that work right now, but I'm familiar with it and have guided, uh, guided boards through disability hearings, uh, some 30 ones in the past. Uh, if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them, but I'd be delighted to work with you. I've done work for the village of Wilmette before. Uh, I'm uh, friendly with Jeff Stein, the in-house corporation counsel there, when he used to work with Mike Zimmerman. Mike Zimmerman uh, also did work for Wilmette. Mike and I are good friends. He no longer practices municipal law. I know uh, Mike's father very well, John, and so um, I'm familiar with things Wilmette, although I haven't done a lot of work uh, for the village. Any okay. questions? Or the floor is open. Any questions for Lance? We have none. Okay, having none, then uh, is there a motion to improve the engagement of Klein, Thorpe, and Jenkins to represent the fund in the Wessel disability matter? I'll make that motion. I'm, I'm very familiar with KTJ as our general counsel is actually from that firm. Okay, there's been a motion by Mike. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so moved and second. Let's call the roll. 
Mr. Canning. Aye. Ms. Malloy. Aye. Mr. Weglars. Aye. Mr. McGreal. Yes. Mr. Grzewski. Aye. Okay, so the motion carries. Uh, we'll execute the engagement letter. Uh, retain Lance. Once that's done, Melinda, let's get the uh, disability file over to him um, and then um, take take lead from Lance as to whether we need to address this at another special meeting uh, or we can address it at our quarterly meeting. That will be, I, I think, the first first thing we'd like to know. Okay, quick, quick question. When is your next quarterly meeting? It's July. I think it's July 23rd. Great. Thank you. Yeah, there, uh, there should be there should be enough time. July 22nd, actually, so I can send that to you. The other thing um, that we'll want to to make sure that we handle correctly is we've received the application, um, but we have not filled out anything in terms of a response to send back acknowledging that. So I'll look for you to give us guidance as to who needs to sign what and when that should be done. Great. So, so far, all we have is the intake and then we need next steps. Got it. We're correct. Okay. Great. And, and yes, that, that is correct. Okay. Is there any new old or unfinished business? Seeing no. none, can I get a motion to adjourn? I have one, one quick uh, sure. favor to ask. Can I get any procedural or substantive rules of the board that you may have adopted? Yes. We have adopted those and uh, Melinda, you can send those over. Yep. Great. Thank you. Okay, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? Second. I think I have to do this by roll call still, right? You do because we're doing the, the yep. Zoom. Until tomorrow, but you know, on Saturday, forget it. I'm not doing it. Uh, please call roll on this. Mr. Canning. Aye. Ms. Malloy. Aye. Mr. Weglars. Aye. Mr. McGreal. Aye. Aye. Okay, so we stand adjourned. Uh, probably the fastest pension meeting we, any of us have ever had. <laughs>